We are coming at you live on top of the indoor track inside of the field house at Lake Orion High School, just outside of downtown Lake Orion, Michigan. For tonight, we have two teams who have developed a sort of rivalry these past couple of seasons. From Little Caesars Arena to the district championship game, both sides have capitalized and won huge contests. It's Lake Orion versus Rochester for some varsity girls basketball action here on the NFHS Network. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ben Shadle, and as always, I'm blessed and fortunate to be joined by my partner in crime and co-commentator for tonight's contest, Tyler Ratliff. And Tyler, we spoke about it briefly before, but both teams here tonight have seen so much of each other. I mean, from Little Caesars Arena to the district championship game two years ago where Elo came out on top. How does that directly impact tonight's contest? MJ Long almost had his ball, and Stribling has it. Up now, rejected oh. by Joey Nearing. Oh my goodness! Oh. While Linsky has it, that's gonna be rejected by Alice Max. Max gets the rebound, it's gonna go up to her buddy Robinson. Bounce pass to Lucy Cook, and it's in! Ewens drives in Eurostep, Lane, will it fall? It does. Butcher gets it out, here goes Price Parks. Parks, fake pass, what oh. a move! Zachary Price Parks hits the great play on the fast break opportunity. Won't fall. Galman gets the rebound though. Contact. He'll go out to Armstrong. Armstrong for the three point laser beam shot and it goes through. The Dragons just need a spark to get their momentum going again. As Parks trying to ignite that spark with the flame, he hits it. Zachary Price Parks might have just delivered the basket the Dragons have been looking for all game. Back to Sharky. Sharky down low to Parks. Price Parks with a nice move down low in the lane and he'll put it up and through for two. Over to Willis. Willis, hand in his face, three-pointer. It does not matter as Deron he Willis that one, sinks man. the battleship with that three-point attempt right there. And Long with the rebound. Long over to Sykes, pulling up for the triple at the three-point line. Will not fall. Shosky gets the rebound, though. Deep two-pointer shot falls through for Jackson Shosky. Hernandez now taking a wide-open triple. Short, and that ball looked like it had just been voted off of the island mat. As Riley House has it now, pass to Nevaeh Wood. Nevaeh Wood puts it up and through for two. Picked away, clock winding down. Here goes Quay Fly, Quay Fly, last second, book it, and it's going to go through. Now Watlinski at the top of the key. Dragons down by three points. As Watlinski out to Ellie Britt for the triple. Can she sink the battleship? She does. It only takes one, Matthew. Thanks, Matthew. And you know, you guys said it perfectly. Unified basketball is such a big event that takes place multiple times around the clock during the year here at LOHS. You know, there's actually an event that's scheduled later in the school year. It's a fully dedicated assembly to the Unified Basketball program where our Unified team takes on another team from another school. I know all Dragon students and fans in attendance are looking forward to it. Guys, back to you. Thanks guys, and you know, a lot of fans here inside of the field house tonight at Lake Orion High School are wondering the exact same thing. Will tonight be the night that the Lady Dragons escape their recent struggle as currently Lake Orion is on a three game losing streak, those being to West Bloomfield, Clarkston, and Rochester. If the Dragons come out on the losing end of things here tonight, that'll be four straight in the OAA Red, guys. Thanks, Ryan. And one of the members of this Dragon starting lineup here tonight is Junior Nevea Wood. Wood, being a former Wildcat herself, actually tore her ACL last season during her time in Oxford and then transferred back to LO this offseason to reunite with her former eighth grade basketball coach, Bob Bridges. Wood has said multiple times that she felt like she was being misused in Oxford's system, and obviously we've seen that change with certain scenarios, Wood bringing the ball up the court. Nevea Wood has been a key to both sides of the court here tonight, and that's only going to continue as the game goes on guys and as the clock winds down to zero Troy will be happy to continue their undefeated record inside of the OAA White League as they take down their fellow undefeated rivals inside of the league with a 61 to 51 victory against the Lake Orion Dragons once again my name is Ben Shadle and we have been here on the ONTV crew for the ONTV game of the week. For everybody joining me on this crew, we'd like to say thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening during your Christmas break. Farewell, friends.